Hey, what's going on, bro? All right, I'm good. What's your name? Uh, hey, good to meet you. Quan, I'm Ib. Ibnaya. Ibnaya. What's going on? You got questions? Um, not really. Just more to listen. Um, I already studied um, um, Israelites and whatever. I'm more spiritual than anything. Okay, so you're more spiritual. What makes you spiritual? When I found myself, I just woke up one day and just realized who I was. All right, so watch this real quick. So you you don't just wake up and know who you are. You got to be taught that. Just like everybody else out here, we thought that we were one thing. You then we, yeah, you, you got to be taught who you are. A lot of stuff I'm learning now, I don't get teach from this planet. It's from a whole new, uh, another universe. Hold on real quick, because you're about here, so we're going to deal with terrestrial things, right? Okay. These terrestrial, this, this book is terrestrial, yeah. but it's spiritual as well. Right. It's spiritual. So check this out. Check out what makes you, as a so-called black, black or Hispanic man, spiritual. Read. John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. So it's the spirit that quickeneth or makes alive, right? The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, Three. they are spirit and they are life. So the script, the word of God is the spirit and the life, right? That's what make give me um give me that in uh Romans, the, the law of spirit. Yeah, Romans 7. That's what I want. But the, the word of God is, is the spirit, right? These words that are in this book is a spirit, right? Now, there's aspects of this Bible that if you apply them to your life, make you spiritual, right? It's not just, oh, I woke up and I'm enlightened. Nah, you have to be told, hey, look, this is the way you need to go. So go that way and be, be righteous, right? Read. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy. And the commandment, holy and just and good. Right, right. So holy and spiritual are synonymous, right? So what makes you spiritual is the law of God. Yeah, read 14. Verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. So the laws of God is what's spiritual, right? But I am carnal, sold under sin. So when Paul wrote this to the Romans, he made a, he had an understanding that without God's laws, anything that I think to know on my own is carnal. It's fleshly. It's earthly. You think it's from another universe, but nine times out of ten, it's something that was taught here on earth, and it's just giving you a feeling. Right. But it's not an action that is being put behind that feeling, right? Um, The, the jewelry on your neck, is, is that something spiritual like do you have a baba or something like that it's crystals it's my crystal it's crystal uh, quartz crystal quartz quartz yeah. so you you know what i'm asking you about a baba right no sir okay that when i ask you about a baba that's somebody that you go and you pay and they divine things to you they tell you uh be in the house by this time or something bad gonna happen oh no no witch doctors and stuff like that no. okay all right you got it all praises uh, now, nah, get, get uh, Proverbs 3 and 5 real quick. On that same note, Proverbs 3 and 5. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So your heart is your mind. He said, trust in the Lord with all your mind. Read. And lean not unto thine own understanding. So don't trust in your own understanding, right? See, you've never heard the word of God, right? You've never heard the Lord speak to you through these Bibles because no one has ever taught you the truth according to the Bible, right? But it says, don't trust in your own heart. Don't trust in your own mind and don't lean into your own understanding, right? Verse 6, in all thy ways. So in all of the ways that you think to be spiritual or right or good, read, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. You have to acknowledge the Lord. Give me, uh, give me uh, uh, Isaiah 34, 16. So you have to acknowledge the Lord in all your ways, right? But how do you do that, right? Standing here dealing with the prophets of the Most High God is, the, is the, a good way to start. But this is another thing you have to do. Give me Isaiah 34, 16. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Yeah. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So it says you got to seek out of the book of the Lord and read, read. No one of these shall fail. That means no prophecy or any law in the Bible shall fail. Nothing, everything written is, is going to come to pass. It's the truth, read. None shall want her mate. And you can't make any other knowledge or any other understanding with the understanding of this Bible. You can't be spiritual without keeping God's laws. Right. There's no other way on this planet to be spiritual because God made this planet. 
So the planet your own has laws that uh, that you must abide by to make you spiritual. Read. For my mouth it hath commanded. Because the mouth of the Lord hath commanded things that are set in motion. Read. And his spirit it hath gathered them. So it hath gathered them. So my question to you is, because you haven't seen salt out of the book of the Lord, you know, and everything like that. What is your, what is your nationality? Who are you as a person? I'm not ether God. Say it again. I'm non ether God. So you're a God, right? I'm a descendant from God. You're a descendant from God. Okay, give me Psalms 86. Because you're right, but I don't know what a non ether God is. But what makes us? Um, this, hold on. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Uh, I'm about to say that's because I get real deep into genetics and quantum physics and metaphysics. Mm, um. What's uh? But we're going we gonna to deal with that as well because those are understandings that are, are on this earth, right? So for you to say um, your understanding comes from another universe, everything, every book that you read pertaining to those things, every person you listen to pertaining to those things, they're carnal. You got the, who did you get the understanding from there? From mother. Mother. From from the earth. From mother, yes. Okay, from the earth. Alright. Yeah, yeah. All insects. All animals. All animals are not real. All animals are like dogs. They are man creation. No, they're God's creation. They're, they are created from the moon. Now the breeds they have, they have the wolf gene. The breeds that, that are on the earth, yeah, they were mingled and everything like that. But everything is God's creation. That's in Genesis, right? The, 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 everything you see now. It's God's creation. You see what I'm saying? Now, man may have mingled some things and stuff like that. Esau, the the, the so-called white man on this earth, has devised some things and, and you know put them in motion. But read that in Timothy's first. Yeah, okay, what's the genetics? Watch this. Did y'all find it? Oh, 6 and 20. First six Timothy. and 20. First Timothy. First Timothy, chapter 6, verse 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babbling. Yeah, all of that is not biblical. It's not in the book of the Most High, right? Who created this earth. So if you called your earth your mother, there was a creator to her. She wasn't always in existence. There was a creator, right? Yeah. So the creator gave these laws, right? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So he said, keep... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's, it, it's just like um, prophets and stuff is not a prophet. It's like, I'm not saying the, um, the planet is the most high. I'm saying that's where I learned from. She's seeing different things. Yeah, hold, hold on real quick. Read this. Avoiding profane and vain babbling. It says avoiding vain, vain and profane babblings. Come on. And oppositions of science falsely so-called. So if it's not in this Bible, it's an opposition of science. It's an opposition of science. Read. Verse 21. Which some professing have erred concerning the faith. So those people professing these things have erred concerning the faith of what can really save you and make you into a spiritual being that you want to be, right? Read. Okay, all praises. So, so the reason I ask you who you are is because there's a lot of doctrines being taught about who we are, right? But we are the children of Israel. Do you know who they are? Somewhat. Not enough to say yes. You see what I'm saying? But I, I'm about to know. Okay, go to Deuteronomy uh, 6 and 7. Let me show you something about the Israelites, right? Because you acknowledge that there's a creator, right? There is a most high God. There is someone that created everything that you see, uh, a, a celestial being that's greater than yourself, right? Yes. That's greater than what you call Earth, you know, Mother Earth. There was a creator to the Earth, right? Yes. Read. There's a few differences. Yeah, nah, matter of fact, let me show you that. Give me Genesis, uh, Genesis 2 and 7. No, start, start at 1, matter of fact. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 1. Thus, the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. So, that right there is proof that earth had a creator. The heavens, the skies, outer space, all of that type stuff had a creator. Because it said, thus the heavens and the earth were finished. That's an ending because when you read in Genesis 1, that talks about the creation of all of the heaven, the earth, and all of the host of them, right? So it says, thus the heaven and the earth were finished, read. And all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day 
from all his work which he had made. So you see that? Earth was created, right? So whatever understanding you thinking you get from the earth, God has an understanding higher than that. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.